Well, my opponent asks, uh, which state has not seen a downtrend? And uh, if I'm, if I'm so I believe Texas has seen growth, even though we had this economy, but I'm um, to me. His uh, main argument is taxes. As I said before, I think we should, we could do a tax reform without including Puerto Rico as a state. Um, he himself said there's a lot of loopholes for companies. And the argument also for, for Puerto Rico to become a state would be to help people. But um, if, you start, if, you, if you start charging federal taxes to them, that's something that people don't, don't really like paying extra taxes. And for I know, actually, there's uh, people, if you live in Puerto Rico or Puerto Ricans, if you have a company, if you, if, you have, if you work for the federal government or have any contact with the federal government, you have to pay federal taxes. So there's certain conditions, not, not just everybody who lives in Puerto Rico does not pay federal taxes, so we have got to clear that up. And like I said, what's called? And like I said, my, 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 uh, my argument still keeps, keeps saying that uh, our, our current status does not allow us to, to take on some other state. If we were to have a, if we were to put it this way, if we were, if we were a family, we had our own kids, we're barely making just enough money, do we, should we adopt somebody else? In this case, should we bring in Puerto Rico, being that we're just making it as it is, or, or should we let them keep the way it is. I think we should keep the way it is. And like I said, let's come. Puerto Ricans, Puerto Ricans I know have all the perks that, that we should, that all Americans, that American citizens have. So it's practically like um, they have all the perks and they got nothing else. They have all the perks. So, um, In conclusion, like I said, um, our economy is not is, is not as good. It's not good. Their economy, their status is not good. So that's something we're gonna look at into their stuff, their their, their status. Uh, he was saying something about um, um, how companies went into 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 Puerto Rico and they they didn't pay enough people. And another reason that Puerto Rico was um, well, he mentioned something about uh, the, the recent the polls that were, were Puerto Ricans wanted to be part of uh, the U.S. And uh, in, this, in an article on CNN, it said that the main reason why Puerto Rico wants to become uh, part of the U.S. is because of the economic downturn and because of the shrinking population. And um, so it, it's, they're feeling that Puerto Rico is not creating enough jobs. So by making Puerto Rico another state, it's going to be competing with our jobs as well. And uh, that, was, uh, that was said by, uh, by Puerto Rico Secretary of State uh, and also Luis Sagarati, a history, prof a history professor at the University of Puerto Rico said that a lot of voters didn't agree with voted the way they voted because they didn't agree with the way it was like the term when it was time for elections, the way the, um, the election was defined, the terminology. It was so a bit weird, so a lot of people did not agree with that, and also a lot of people did not cast the vote on the first part. They, they, they wanted to change, but they didn't know exactly what they wanted. So if you were to look, take all into consideration, it's actually not the overall one, overall majority that wanted to be a state. They just wanted to change. And in conclusion, <coughs> I, said it's, uh, I don't think it's time for for us to consider Puerto Rico as a 51st state, maybe in the future consider it. But the way things are going right now, it's, uh, it's just not a bad, it's, it's bad timing for us, bad, it's bad timing for them. And like I said, they have a, they have a huge debt, they have a huge unemployment, and they're buying, there's, there's a lot of violence going up. And right now they have all those benefits, uh, citizenship, all the federal benefits, they don't, some people don't pay taxes. And if we were to actually go in and there and make a mistake, that will bring will bring more harm than, than good. And like I said, our solution will be allowing them to become 
uh, allowing them to, to get to allowing them to vote and having the tax reform. That's something. Thank you.